Hi, so you want to customize your header and footer files. My name is Slavi Marinov and I'll walk you through the process. First thing we need to set up a test site. Let's use QSandbox and the site is already pre-filled in. You can just create a new site. And the site was created. Let's go to admin and install Obisius Child Theme Creator. Just uh, type Child Theme Creator. It should appear. Install. Activate. The next step is to decide should we edit the current themes files or create a child theme. The recommended approach is to create a child theme. That way our changes are not going to be overridden. Let's go to appearance and then child theme creator and visually pick the theme that we want to use as parent theme. Let's pick 2015 and we can select There's some options. And customize the description if we want. We're not going to do that. No. We want to make sure the theme is active. So WordPress's theme will be switched to the new theme. Let's create a child theme. Nice. Click on continue. Okay, so here we see child01. And the next step is to go to Obisius theme editor. This section is part of the child theme creator. We can go to this area and we're presented with two boxes. Those are two editors and we can select the theme and then we can set the files and we can do copy and paste from one to the other with the yellow as the current theme. Can we can actually we can select let's say 2015 and then if we want to copy some files to the right hand side. And since we want to edit the header and footer, we can select them from here. And keep in mind those files they may look text files, but they're actually PHP files, so you have to be careful to make sure that there's no PHP syntax errors, otherwise the site will crash. And I really mean it. And it often happens. That way, to prevent that, you can click on, uh, after making changes, you can click on PHP syntax check, and then, if everything's okay, then hit save changes. Here you can put meta name tests and save it. But as I said, make sure the syntax is checked. the footer. If you want you can remove say this. Again check the syntax and save changes. And you can view the site like so. There won't be any footers. That's about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you want to see our work, you can visit club.orvisius.com and qsandbox.com to set up test sites. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.